Hey, hey, hey. This is LJ8 Sport. You. I'm here live today to talk about what are we doing doing this year, year and and showing off some packs. Like, I really want some fans here. Please come on on. So, so you know, I'll be doing whatever I can. And this time, like, I have packs. Packs galore. Lack packs and any types of packs. You know, I don't even know what to do. I mean, if anybody, like, has any input, please put it in the chat. Chat, because I don't know where to even start today. Like, starting isn't a good idea for me, because I really want to, like, start pretty well and as you know, I'm just a YouTuber here who wants to just be like... <clears throat> if, anybody, if anybody wants me to open up any sports here, because I have baseball, 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 ho I have two hockey, and then I have some football here. I have a bunch of I have five football packs plus two baseball rack packs. If anybody has has any interest in it, or I can show off Pokemon. I have one Pokemon thing. If any fans want it want want to say hi way, I know who's here, they can because you know this is more normal for me to be to not go live because I mean I was gonna do another video, but I had bad footage, so you know, let's get into it. So I like to say, thanks for stopping by. <laughs> so thanks to you two. First, we're going to get into two cards I have here. Just two singles I have here. One of the singles I got a couple years ago signed. Here it is, if I can get it in the camera correctly. As you can see here, I'm holding it up. If if I can get it in the camera correctly. This is a Chris Wormley signature. I got this from, from a free Ravens practice. Practice I went to free to be exact, like... This is a special card of mine. For anybody who doesn't know who Chris Wormley is, I'm pretty sure he doesn't play for the Ravens anymore. I mean, I can go... I mean, Chris Wormley was a Raven for a couple of years. As it says in the back, this is a rookie card. He played for Jim Harbaugh, if you want to read this. I'll leave that up for a minute. Sorry for the glare. Yeah, there. There. I'm just trying to like, experiment right now because I have my fancy lights... And what not. I mean, now let me just go look up him. Chris. That's how it's spelled. Chris Warmly. Chris Warmly. Oh, he plays for the Eagles. Yeah. I mean. Hi to my favorite, favorite moderator, editor, and podcast helper. Thanks, thanks for being one of the two here. I'd like to thank you for being on, on, on here, and and please tell anyone, and I mean anyone, about the YouTube video that I'm doing live because, because it's me. I don't really, uh, I don't really get them that, that much traction ever. Not to be exact, to be exact, no traction because other YouTubers. Steal my traction. I mean, like, don't steal it. But I'm much better at live streaming and doing other stuff. Like, like you know, no, like, there's nothing bet bet good to do ever with my channel because, as it says, and this is just a welcome back. Like, I haven't gone into any packs yet, but let's get into my other hit code. I got this because I went to the 
into the M into the Hall of Fame. Let's say say that here we have a we have an all star one dollar card. It was one dollar I got it for one dollar. This is an all star card of Adam Jones, one of my favorite Orioles. It's him and Trey Mancini. Probably I'm gonna have to put Calvin Jr. up there. I mean, if anybody wants to weigh in on their favorite Orioles player, they can. I mean, for my Ravens, I have to go with 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 Flacco, Yonder, and and finally, I I can't say no to him. I can't have to say no to Lamar, which this could be his first snow game. I mean, nobody knows anything. I mean, like, I mean, like for the two fans here, I like to thank them again, and I'll be thanking them again and again because. I get zero fans ever on most of my videos, and that says a lot. Because, as you can see, there's only two fans. I should have way more, which I would want other people to come on. It's, let's say, I'm probably going to get into one pack or one box or something. I mean, I would like my two fans out here to pick from either football, football, baseball, baseball, rack packs, or hockey. Put, put which sport you want in the chat. I'm watching the live chat right now, and I'm sorry I haven't really done much, but there's not many people here, here as you can tell. As I'm, as I, as I like to have a bunch of people here because we can tell anybody, and when I mean it, anybody about my channel, please do so. Like, thank you. I'm going to probably just like open up a, a pack of football here. I either have 91 set one for score, Fleer, NFL football, upper deck, NFL football series one or series two. Like, as I can see, the viewership has been steady, which thanks for stopping by to my channel where uh, I have 40 subscribers. I like to go show one thing through that I have through my app. Like, I've one video with over a thousand views. Over a thousand, if you never knew. Over one thousand views for anybody who doesn't know, which I know my moderator, moderator in chief knows about this video. Because if you never knew, views 1,000 plus apply, more than 1,000. And as you can see here, if this, oh, um, if, if I can get this out of the light in a good angle, angle which I'm not sure I really can, but if I put that up here, then that doesn't have a good angle. But if you can tell from, from this angle, this is, which it's not the best, well, my phone is is trying to not listen to me. I can just tell you, I have the Charles Barkley on Zoom video. 12 likes, 3 dislikes, and 1,436 views. You, you, you can say that's a bunch of views. While, while none of my other views have spiked more than 191. And incoming, because... Because if you can't tell, videos don't get that many views. That many views and whatnot. 
on my channel. So I think I'm going to go with a pack of 91. We go with 91 Pro Set 1. Hi to the third viewer. If you want... And goodbye to the third viewer, because it seems to be that I'm steadily at two viewers at the most. Like, here I have some cards. This this, this is the pack that I'll be opening up up for you today to, to start. I'll be showing each card as I go, which I noticed one of the cards is sideways. So, so I'd like to say that everyone... Here gets a deserving welcome, hello, goodbye, whatever you're doing. Thanks for taking time out of your day again. Sorry for all the doubling down on the words. I'm just not even sure what to say because I'm, you know, live. As I like to say, live. First, we have a Shane Coleman, linebacker for the Buffalo Bills. After him, we have another Bill, a tackle. His name is Howard Baller. We have Frank Stams of the Los Angeles Rams. The old Los Angeles Rams, not the new Los Angeles Rams. And it says an official NFL card at the top of all of them. Now let's get back on you. A sideways, let's say if anybody in the chat knows any of these players, any any little tidbits about them, please tell me a bit about them because I do not know anything really about the 90s football players. Like I have a Michael Brooks. Michael Brooks, sideways, Broncos card, one of my top favorite teams. Over here we have a Tim Green coming up. Not sure if he's the one that writes the books. Books. The books I like, but I have a Tim Green here. Now let's get on to the next one. From the city of brotherly love, we have Alden. We have Audrey Waters. We have Audrey Waters. Well, next up, a, a Green Bay Packer, Jeff Quarry. We have next up Al Smith. We have Rod Sad Sadler. We have a we we have a Merle Hoge. Let's say we have a 1991. We have the 1990 Dick Buckus Award out of Colorado. And his name is Alfred Williams. Came out of came out of, of Colorado. What a I think that's where Jimmy Smith went to college, if I'm remembering correctly. We have a 1990 replay. Bill's rally stuns Broncos, which which I think this is the first time I've ever opened up this sort of pack. Thank to to all the supplies and everything. Ming. Let's say that it was Broncos and Bills. The Ravens are playing the Bills. Hopefully, the Mario doesn't have his first snow game. Which also we have a milestone. Seven lines of receptions for a guy I sort of kind of would know. Art Monk. The man, Art Monk, on the former Redskins, now Washington football team. Now, to finish off the pack, we have a Jack Slater, which here's the front. It isn't a base card, to be exact. It's more or less a ins. You, you get one insert per pack, I'm pretty sure, here. Next, we have a pro said Anthony Parker, and then we have some random way to win thing that doesn't work anymore. The way to win thing I don't need to show because it doesn't work anymore. As you know, I have a way to win thing that doesn't work because this is an old set, which which that's my football set. I can either do 90 or 91 hockey, which I'm going to go with 90 hockey next because 
I do not know anything about hockey. Let's put that out there for the fans who are watching. Is I have a Glenn Healy. 35, number 35 in the goalie for the for New York. The Islanders. Let's say the next we have an oiler, Craig Simpson. We also have is oh that's the Hartford Whalers. Dean e Evan Eva Evanson, I'm pretty sure is how you say his last name. We have Paul Fen Fenton. As I like to say, we have, we have a, th oh, the cards are getting stuck together. I thought we had a thick card for a second, but we have Lummy, uh, we have Jai Rikai, Lumi, Lummy, however you say this dude's name. He's from Finland, 6'1", 190 pounds. As you can see here, if anybody can figure out how to pronounce some of the names, because I'm probably going to butcher some some of them because I'm not hockey oriented. Next up, we have two Knicks coming up. We have John Van. I'm going to try to say his due name. John Van By Bys Brock Brock. Sorry for the miss. Sorry if I mispronounced that. But then we have an easy one to say. We have Carrie Wilson, Tim Kerr, Garth Butcher. We have next up. I think this is Lou Fran Francette Ch 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 Ty. I hope I'm saying the one correctly. We have Steve. We have a Steve. Casper. We have a purchase next pro set, which that goes into the junk pile. If that goes into my junk pile of doesn't work anymore. I don't think I've gone any Blackhawks yet. The closest I've gone to a the, into a Blackhawk is probably none, but I got a number one but I got coming up in a couple, in, in four cards, the number one pick. We, we have Jeff Brown. He played for Quebec. Back when they were the New Orleans, not the Avalanche. Which the Avalanche are probably one of my top favorite teams in, in the NHL as of today. Let's say we have Steve Yazerman. Yeah, yes, yeah, yes, Hopefully that's how you say it. We have, we we have an All Star game, game, goal. He's a goalie. He was he was number one. He was Cook. He's Cook Mc McLean from the Canucks and the number one pick of the former Con Quebec Nordiques, Owen Nolan. Now let's take a little break for a minute. A minute, and, and let's go over one thing. Thing. I've... I do not know anything about hockey, really, or basketball, which I don't really have any basketball here, but I'll be opening up a pack of either... I'll be opening up my 88 baseball today. Today, so... So this is... So baseball and football are the two big sports I know. I mean, I've... Something Pokemon, which I'm trying to get myself back into my Pokemon stuff, which I think I'm going to open up this, which the cards are every which way. So that makes it harder to not know which way to start with because there's a middle thing, which it's just like free thing, which I'm getting rid of because it says, here's this free thing. Any free thing? I don't care for because the free things are nothing Nothing important because these are all vintage packs from the Wax Pack era, which is in which is a thing which you'll be seeing some guys that are like I don't know some guys that I might be 
hooting and hollering about some guys that are just good players, but let's move back into the pack as I see. I'm going to be pulling a good card, but I can't say who because it comes in a little bit. And, and I think and I think the Orioles fans will not really like him because he's had to play against them for a while, which we have here. We have a Rick Rodriguez, a Greg Brock. And, and it says on... Here we have a Greg Brock, and then we have one card that fell out, which I'll be leaving until the end because he plays for the hometown team. I won't be telling you if he's a guy that's good or a guy that's bad. Be exact. Yeah, go Orioles. That's all I need to say, and hope that they do good next year as we find it, Steve. Boo, Boo Chelly. Rangers. Second full year in the big leagues. Plays in plays third base and was born in Cal- Lancaster, California. Lives in Fort Fort on California. Now we have here a Matt Williams. Not don't think he's related to Ted Williams. He's not. This is not his rookie card, but this is his. But this would be his first full year year in in the league. I'm pretty sure if he stayed up. In the league, we have next a all-star American League right-handed pitcher. You know him as Roger Clemens. Here we go. Another Roger Clemens add to my brilliant Roger Clemens I have. But this is the first of this one I've ever gotten. Not that I have collected them, but I've just gotten a bunch. Here we have a Blue Jay. First full year, no, second full year. This will be a second full year in the league. His name is Fred McGriff. Well, he's a DH in first base. He was drafted by the Yankees, but went to the Blue Jays' same division, different team. Now let's move on over here. We have a Dennis Powell. I'm not sure if he, if he's Boog Powell. That might be his, because it, it doesn't say he's, it was on the Orioles. It says he was a Dodgers sign free agent, but he's now on, but in the picture, he's on the Mariners. We have a future stars, Al Ryder. As I like to say, Al Ryder. It says he's on the Yankees, which means he was probably good because the Yankees are, because the Yankees seem to be a super good team. Team they play. We have an eight. We have Gene Ma Ma Manager. We have a Gene Mayuch. Hopefully, I'm saying that correctly. I'm probably me- on the back. It shows the team. I'm looking for anybody good. There's a Doug DeSinsa back when he was on the Angels. There is nobody else I see. There is nobody else good that I see. On this card, it's just him. There might be other guys that were good that I don't even care about. Like here you go, because because I'm not even up up to par with the '90s, '80s, and nine with the late '80s, early '90s baseball. Now let's get over here where we have Sid Fernandez. I'm pretty sure he was a good player. Was born in Honolulu, lives in Honolulu, a Hawaii native. Now let's move on to the Padres leaders. Let me go check them out. Tony Gwynn made it in runs, hits, doubles, triples, storm bases, and batting average. This is probably the father of Lance McCutler's junior because there's probably a Lance McCutler's. Because the only thing I can think of is that this is the Lance McCutler's net. There's a Lance McCutler's junior. If that's if I'm thinking correctly, he he plays for the Astros, which we're not going to get into the Astros because I can say Alex Begman is a good YouTuber, as I like to say that much. Like we have a Sant, and here's the back of the card before I show the front. As we see, one person does left. Which I don't care that they left because we're having a steady flow of at least two in all time. We we have a pirate Vince Palak 
Ayaz. We have a dude. He's he played for the Indy. The the Indians. He dropped the name Indians. If you never knew, Ed Vanderberg says that he was born in California, moved to Arizona. We have we have Jose D D Lone, and who played who played for the White Sox, Padres, White Pirates, and White Sox. As it says on the back of the gun, then we have an and then to end off this pack, we're gonna look at Ray Knight Oil. He played for the Reds, Mets, second years in oil. Shows he was drafted by the Reds. Lives lives and was born in Albany, Georgia. And that's all for the main baseball pack will be for the actual baseball pack will be opening. So we've opened up one hockey, one football, and one one baseball so far tonight. But but now let's move on to something even better. Some a rack pack. I'll be showing off an old an old time rack pack. I've never I never have had a rack pack in person. It shows that there's all these cards which will be saving one of the cards for the end because um, this is a special all-star pack card. I guess is the way I can say because this is 89 tops. Look, I have an 80. Look, I look, I have one that is 88, which I want to open up different years of baseball. Ball for 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 all the viewers because I don't want the viewers to get bored by the same by the same old the same old every time. Now I have to get into the last area of my rack pack, which has my all-star card. I think, I hope there's only, I think there's at least one, if not maybe like two or three. As I'm going to be dipping in a couple because I have to go soon. So this will probably be my last thing I'm doing. Doing as I see there's only one of this card in, in the set. And there's Expos this year, let's say that, as I as I move that card to the bottom. This is 44 cards plus one. Saying hi to the one new viewer. We have peaked at, we're, we're going to be going for about a little over 30 minutes as I'm going to be going over because we were Johnny Padres. Pa, pa, here from the Expos, we have a colonel named Jim Rindem. Next up, we have a good card and a good player. He played for the... It's This is when he played for the White Sox. He was born in Eastern Maryland. Home, uh, home is in St. Michael's, Maryland, and, he, and he's Harold Baines. The, the good old Harold Baines on the White Sox. We have a Tony Phillips, Athletics, Frank Tanana of the Tigers. We have a dog, and, and next up is Dodger Danny Heap. Danny Heap. Here, to be exact, we have a Lance Parrish. Says that he played for the Tigers, drafted by the Tigers, was born in PA, moved to California. Is a catcher and now and uh, and played on the Phillies when this card was printed. We have a colonel here, Lance Lance McWilliams. I'm not sure if, if this is a good player. Don't don't quote me on this. As, as, as I'm saying, as as I'm as I'm saying hi to the one person there that just came in. If you have anything to say, just put it in the chat about any of the cards. I'll take any knowledge from from anybody who knows anything about a player that 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 I don't know anything about. Because here we have a Willie McGee, Cardinals Willie McGee, 
li- born in San Francisco, moved to Hercules, lived in California his whole life. If Jose Oibe, shortstop, played on the Cardinals and Giants. He was a free agent. He is from the Dominican Republic. Here we have a Mark Davis. We have a and a Terry Lee Leach. Next up, we have an oil. I'm gonna give you a little bit of Batman and surprise you who he is. He played for the Orioles. Was born in 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 VA. He moved to Cockersville, Maryland. Was drafted by the Orioles in '78. His name was Larry Sheets. I do not know anything about him, and and I'm just an Orioles fan because like not all Orioles get it get on high notice ever. For all of those Orioles fans out there, we have Tony Omaz of the Angels, David Meads of of the Astros, Dave Parker of the Athletics, Alex Trevino of the Astros, Indians Doug Jones. We have Billy Hatcher of the of the Astros. We have some more cards coming in. In we have another thick stack going. Plus on the back, I moved a special 1988 All Star Game card, which will probably be my last card. We have a Doug Sisk oil, and then we have an, an we have two oils back to back. I won't be telling you the one after him yet. This guy is a pitcher, played for the Mets, was signed as a free agent. He lived in Washington, moved to another place in Washington. Says that Doug considered for the 1967 U.S. Olympic rifle team, which shows he's not only good in baseball, he's good at gun shooting, which I do not want people shooting animals for food. That's my opinion here. I mean, next we have an Oswald, Oswald Peraza. He was playing for the Blue. He was a freedom for the Blue Days of Venezuela. He moved to the Orioles and he went to Rochester. Now he, and then he was putting back up with the Orioles. He's lived in the same place all his life. Maybe not house, but city. And here he is. We have next up a Jim. Presley, a third baseman from Florida. We have Vance Long. And next up, I won't be I'm I'm gonna I won't be giving away anything about this card, but you'll see what I mean when I get to my last card. I I have a Gary Carter Mets. As Gary Carter is a good player to have on your baseball team. When you had him, he played for the Expos from... was drafted in 72, lived in California, moved to Palm Beach, to Palm Beach, Garden, Florida. He played from the Expos from 74 to 84, then from 85 to, 80, to 89, and maybe a little longer, he played on the Mets. Here is my fancy smancy Gary Carter, as we have a Jeff Montgomery. Jeff Montgomery, he lived in Idaho, and then he, then he moved to Cincinnati. Yeah, Ohio, he played. He lived in Ohio. He lived in one town in Ohio. When his card was put out, he lived in Cincinnati. He's a pitcher for the... He was a pitcher for the Royals. Next up, we have... A Dave Palmer, not a big name that I know of. Anything. I mean, it says it was on the disabled list for one year. It was, yeah, 83 for the Mets. Now let's say we have an Astro, Jim, Jim DeSeal. It, it is Shields. Yankee at first. Now we have a Luis Rivera, a good old Luis Rivera. 
He's a he's a he was a shortstop when he played. He played for the then known as Expos, now known as Nationals. As I like to say, we have a Brad Moore for the Phillies. Brad Mill, this is his first official full year. He stayed up in the league the whole time. We have a Doug that that says the sends as though he was born in Cleveland, Ohio. Moved to La Bella, PA. It is a cub. I mean, was at the time a cub to be exact. If you know what I'm saying here, like we have a Scott Melvin, Pirates calling. He was a freedom for the Tigers. Yeah, he's lived in North Armstead up until that point for his whole life. If you know what I'm saying, like, I don't know what they have lived past 89. Nine, because I'm not like a wizard or something or like a creep that would just knock on somebody's door if you know what I'm saying. Like, next we have a Tommy Barrett. Tommy Barrett. He, he was drafted by the Yankees. Lived in San Francisco, California. Moved to Tuscaloosa, Arizona. Now here we have a pot we have a Braves team leaders. There's no the the best I can find is doubles Dale Murphy. Home runs Dale Murphy and one's better than Dale Murphy. There is no good pitchers I can see. From from this I mean I mean the one name that comes to mind from Atlanta Braves at the moment is probably Freddie Freeman, but he never played then. He plays now. I'd like to say he won the MVP award for the for the NL. I'm pretty sure just the NL. As as you can see, this is a team called, and it shows two players. I do not know who they are. To be exact, not be mean. I have a Terry Blocker, Frank Voy 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 Voy. Um, not 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 related to Freddie Freeman, but. Marvin Friedman, Phillies, drafted by Phillies, has lived in Chicago, Illinois for his whole, for, had me lived in Chicago for his whole life. I mean, may still, I mean, you never know anything about a player unless you look them up. And I'm not wasting my time looking up a player when, you know, I have Pax Galorda sitting around me, which I have a Mario Diaz was a free agent. Came from Puerto Rico. Well, it was picked up by the Mariners. Plays for the Mar- played for the Mariners. That date the card was put out. Be exact. Everything is subject to date. What I mean by subject to date is, if you know what I'm saying, like here's. Let's say it's May first, twenty thirteen. That's that's when Adam Jones was playing for the Orioles, so they would have had Orioles cards. But as of but when he was tr- but then when he went to the but then since he's not in the MLB anymore, they stopped making cards. So it's like you on this team, you get a card. If you're not on a team anymore, you don't get a card except for I have some I have some cards and stuff that like. I don't understand why they are made of something like I have a Don Paul, who is a White Sox, lived in Chicago, then moved to Evergreen Parks. The, those places are all in Illinois. Which he played for the Chicago White Sox, so he played for one of his hometown teams. Just noticed I have two uh, after this Blue Jays leaders, which is Fred McGriff, with runs, Tony Fernandez with hits and doubles, home runs, Fred McGriff, Tony Fernandez with bang out they all no good p- pitchers, as I like to say that much. I mean, if you, if you were a Blue Jays fan back then, you would know 10 times out of 10 more things about it. As I like to say, here we go. 
go. I have this, that. That's the best I can get out of this. I have, I have one last. Yeah, I have one last base card. No, I have, I have two last base cards. Then I have a turn back to clock and an All Star Game glossy card, which does come in. Which it's an eighty eight All Star Game, which for my, which for this one I'm gonna give you a a sneak peek. It's a Mike Schmidt. I'll be getting out of this. Won't see the whole card, which he's in their powder blue jerseys, but that doesn't matter because that doesn't have to do with this pack anyways, as you know. Nothing has to do with the pack, unless it has to do with the pack, which all I care about is pulling oils and players I know from, like, that time. Like, let's say I have a little thing to show you, a rip in this pack. You're able to peek through and see the gum. Not not that that matters. Now let's get back on topic for the last two base cards. We have a Mike Belitsky and, and a Gorman Gonzalez. And let's say the, the team leaders cards, those have a number on them, as I like to say that. And let's say I was the one to like the video. Don't be a freak. Liking your own video is okay. There's nothing wrong with it. As we pull, as I pull Gorman Gomez, let me repeat him. We will turn back the clocks. Tell me all of Livia as as it talks about the nine the 1964 season, which that's 25 years ago. Here's the back back, which I'm not reading that whole that that whole thing. Thing because I don't think anybody because there's only two people here and I don't think there's any fans of, of that team here. I mean, if you are, you 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 can put it in the chat chat right now because there's, um, because of everything. Like, let's go through and just go do my last thing. I'm um, Gary. As I was saying about the Gary Carter before, I pulled a Gary Carter All Star Game card. Let's say that's. That's that's pretty much it for tonight. I have to go now. Have a good night. Please check out my moderator on YouTube. I'll be posting a couple links into the chat here. Because I want you to go check out some stuff. Like, like my channel. It's I'm live on right now because... Who doesn't like to be live on their own YouTube channel and do stuff? Like, I'm going to be, like, posting links. Links galore. Who doesn't care for links? Uh, it's your touchable links. Because here you go. We have LJ8 Sports. We have... If funny because it's true, would like to put his link in the chat. I can go to it. I you know, I can go to it if it will let me go to it. I'm going to put in my links. It's funny because it's true. I would like to put in his podcast and YouTube channel. He can. I would also like to put in w one more person. Go go, go! check him out Thursdays and Saturdays. Please do. I'm always live chatting on with, with him and the fellow card openers over on his channel. It's OMG Card Pools. I like to say it's always nice up in the OMG card room. It gives away a bunch of good stuff. And, as you know, I'm not giving away any of these cards. So if you want cards, cards to be given away, go you go check him out. As I like to say, so long, senor, goodbye, whatever. Have fun and have a good day, fellas. Talk to you next time. But wait, I have one last sneak peek to do before I go. I have the Smith. I have Smith. I have my Pokemon thing, which came in this. This fancy box. It's a Pikachu GX theme deck. I have my Ravens one, which I'm not going to be showing anything Ravens because it's past due for me to go. I've been told I have to go now. This is a Pikachu theme deck. And here's the back. It's a two-player battle deck. 
I got one deck. Must there must be two in a set. I don't know much about Pokemon anymore, so I got to go now. Bye to the bye to the LJ Sports fam. Please go check out my podcast, which I'll be putting in in which which I keep forgetting to talk about that. That I haven't done anything on, but the last one I've done was OMG, which if you want to like check that out before you choose to go into his channel, I have a video about it. Which if I look up my channel LJ. So I can just go put a couple more links in the chat because I keep them steady and ready, which I know. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know I have to go. And and, and I'm wasting my time doing stuff that is probably not as important as you think right now. As I as I can say, thanks for 40 subscribers. How about I go over to Robo's podcast here? Because because as YouTubers have said like Yes, yes, I can show off their things. So if I share anything, it's it's confidential. Nope. It's allowed to be shared. Yes. I'd like to say next is my other and now and now here's my moderator's podcast. Not to give away anything, but he has a good podcast and you should be watching. And you should be listening to it. He he makes all the music for it and I like to thank him. If, if you have anything to say, just type it in the chat. Because I'm going to be doing whatever I can. Like, this is... Is that OMG? Yep. So, I, I have three links here, and I'm trying to figure out which one is which. Oh, this is... Oh, this is a Yankees fan who said, yes, I can promote his channel. So, I think I'll just go put it in the chat. One last thing. This is going to be about an hour, but not exactly because, you know, I can't make everything an hour. And now here's my last thing before I say so long, senor, goodbye. We, here's my moderator's Lincoln. Good. Bye to the ones on live. Bye.